Hi, I'm Jonathan O'Toole. I'm here in Lagos, Nigeria at Philadelphia Specialist Hospital with my good friend, Dr. Stephen Alai. He's a fertility specialist and a surgeon. And we're in his hospital, and we're just taking a few minutes to talk to you about the massacre in New Zealand that occurred. We don't think things are as they seem. We don't believe for a moment the story that we're being told. First of all, let me clarify, we are not uh, proposing that people did not die. Obviously, people have been slaughtered there. Uh, the count that we last heard, I think, was 50. Is that correct? Uh, 50 people at this point have died from this horrible act of terrorism. What we're asking you to consider, not because we have any access to special facts that, other, that you don't have, but because of the facts of history that we should be learning from, specifically the history of Zionist terrorism, uh, beginning, not necessarily beginning with, but exemplified, at least in the 20th century, first by Minikam Begin okay, and his associates, when they bombed the King David Hotel, killed all those people, and all the other acts of Zionist uh, terrorism uh, culminating in September 11th. I think people have connected so many dots uh, that it, it's, it's possible now to talk about September 11th as at least in, in a, a very large part an act of Zionist terrorism and, or, or, or Talmudic terrorism. You could say either one interchangeably. So Dr. Eli has some thoughts about this, and I want to turn it over to him and just have a discussion with my brother here. He's a Christian, I'm a Christian, but the tone of this discussion, I especially want to talk, and I know Dr. Eli does too, with our Muslim friends. We are not uh, religious brothers with you, you are not religious brothers with us, but we're fellow human beings. We're all made in the image of God, right? And so it's important for us to talk because we can avoid, if there are people playing Muslims who are men and women of goodwill against Christians who are men and women of goodwill to try to play one side against the other and out of that chaos bring uh, their own wicked agenda. Let's try to avoid it. So let's talk about this, Dr. Thank Arlen. you very much, uh, my friend. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, Minister Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, I'm Dr. Eli. Hi. God bless you. I'm a Christian a man and uh, uh, I've been involved in end time events for a long time now, having been brought up by a very strict disciplinarian, a father, a pastor, who was also into end time events. Mm -hmm. But we, I was, and he as well, we were of the school food school until now, until we know better. Uh, we know, as he said, we are not speculating, neither do we have some special facts or secret facts mm. or access to more information than you. But we know, especially from analyzing the word of the, of the scriptures, that there is a, a conscious effort mm. to bring forth a one world government, one, to bring forth a one world religion, two, to bring forth a one world new world order, and it shall be Talmudic, it shall be Kabbalist, and it's going to be headed by the Zionists. Oh. It's of my belief that there are many events that will be query one, the existence of, or the beginning of such events, otherwise known in palaces as false flags. False flag events, false flag events. False flag events. Mm -hmm. I do believe many events had happened with the input of the Zionists like September 11. Before that, uh, Jonathan, there was that uh, American warship that was born. That's right, that's right. And it's been proven that the people that did that were not Egyptians, but by, they were Zionists. Just, they just wanted America to be involved in war against Egypt. It's of my belief that what had happened in Christ's church is more than meets the eye. There is, a, there is much more to it. First, there we was a guy from Australia, a foreign, foreigner in another man's land, who was able to acquire such weapons, high grades, Kalashnikovs, and many other things, IEDs, went into a mosque, had on him, a video, camera, streaming everything live, placed it on Facebook, 
it was not brought down. Very, te until very technically perfect. Te everything was too perfect. Executed and perfectly. Yeah. We believe uh, the, the, the film was brought down, the video was brought down after much pressure. It's of my belief that there is more involvement of experts at doing such evil and horrible terrorist events. Are we, are we afraid to say than, Mossad? That, that, are we afraid to say to suggest that that that, that the, the man himself? Where who trained him? Where did he learn all he did? And for effect, he went back to his car, loaded his gun again, threw the other. He was not even afraid of being caught. He cast the first weapon down on the ground. Over thirty six minutes, about thirty six minutes of shootings, nobody came around in a in a. A developed country like New Zealand, it's of my belief that there are 